Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Yeah, I know, I've been testing a lot of CPU coolers lately, but what can I do? A lot of new models came out just recently. On that note, and as a sequel to our recent review of the Artex Liquid Freezer 120 model of all-in-one CPU water cooling solution, today we are testing out its larger brother, the Liquid Freezer 240. The packaging for this kind of product is once again mind-boggling small, especially if you take into consider that in there you will also get four 120mm fans with it. Yes, four, you've heard it right, and you can read it also on the side where you will find listed out specifications. Going further around the box, you will come across on the few pictures of the cooler itself and its components, some talk about technologies used in it, and a performance example chart based on a Core i7-5930K CPU. Opening up the box right away, you can see how everything is neatly packed. Here on the top you will find all the necessary parts for the cooler installation plus the user manuals. Here we have those four 120mm fans that we mentioned. And the star of this video, the all-in-one beast itself. The 240mm radiator is decently thick at 38mm, with FPI count being around 20. It, water pump and tubes are actually coming from the well-known water cooling brand called Acetec. Just based on that information, you can be sure that you're getting a decent product when it comes to build quality and performance. Speaking of the tubes, they are approximately 33cm long, with 6mm of inner diameter coming down from the top reservoir to the pump, which will be good enough even for larger chassis, especially since they are really flexible. Just as with the Liquid Freezer 120 model, here we have a 2 watt block with unknown pump speed and a really glossy but still cool looking top cover with Arctic's logo on it and without any LEDs. Last but not least, bottom side reveals a decently polished CPU copper contact base. Before we put the cooler onto our test rig, we had to install all four 120mm fans onto the radiator and that was a rather time-consuming job. Of course, using all of them, we were able to make a push-pull fan configuration for optimal performance. The installation process was really easy and straightforward, especially since we are doing it on the X99 platform, which has its own backplate. On top of that, we also already had some screws pre-installed from before from the Liquid Freezer 120 model, so the only thing that we had to do is to remove the holding bracket and put it on to the Liquid Freezer 240 model and screw it down again. Taking a look at the temperatures of the Core i7-5960X, at default settings, idle figures were in the low 20s, while under load using the AIDA 64 system stability test, we were seeing very impressive lower end of the 40 degrees Celsius mark, which was pretty much on par with the Liquid Freezer 120 model. One place where the 240 model shines over it is of course in the case of CPU being overclocked, where we had anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees Celsius lower temperatures depending on the core and without experiencing any CPU thermal throttling. Having four 120mm fans running, it's obvious that you won't have a dead silent setup with this model. Under load you will definitely hear them working, especially when the CPU is overclocked, but thankfully they are not that obnoxious. In idle the fans are distantly quiet, and if you want to be on that same level when it comes to load scenario, you can change the BIOS fan settings a little bit, but bear in mind that that way you will sacrifice some performance of the cooler in order for it to be quieter. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Artex Liquid Freezer 240 all-in-one CPU water cooler. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.